This is my favorite cold water bass fishing location to find, hands down. We're going to break down some of the factors to look for and why it can be so good. I'm taking a trip to Jordan Lake in North Carolina in early January. Now I've never been to Jordan Lake, so I have been doing some homework to best prepare myself. When it comes to cold water bass fishing, I already know that my favorite water to fish is moving water, or I should say water that has some sort of current or inflow to it. But the challenge comes when the water is the coldest that it has been for that lake all year, I don't want to fish muddy water. And often when there is current inflow or runoff in a reservoir, it comes with a change in water clarity as well, especially on the upper end of a lake. Now let me explain though why I prioritize the water movement as the most important factor. While bass do not need to eat as much when the water is cold, they still do eat. And in my opinion, this is the time of year when the saying easy meal means the most and is how we should be thinking, at least it's how I like to think. Water that has movement to it is much more likely to position bass in very high percentage areas. If there is enough current even, it will bring the food right to them. Bass in cold water don't want to move that far. And that scenario of the current bringing food plays right into that cold water bass behavior. The other thing water with movement or current inflow to a reservoir does is possibly provide more suitable temperatures. And if the conditions are right, let's say an unseasonably warm rain, wow, that runoff can be an absolute bass magnet. A few degrees of warmer water running into a cold reservoir is a recipe for an incredible day of fishing. So between congregating bass because of food and the possibility for warmer temperatures, moving water in winter is a win-win for me. Now let's take a look at the water inflow to Jordan Lake right now. Now I won't be there for another month and a half, but this lake study will help me determine what parts of the lake have the best possibility for some good inflow into it. And here we can see a decent flow rate here in the bottom part of the lake or the lower end, but by far the majority of all the pockets and coves down here are registering as little to no flow right now. But in the upper end, we have exactly what I am looking for. Two feeder creeks that as of today are showing some good flow to them. Now, when we switch to the water clarity overlay, this is what I was talking about. I don't want to fish dirty water when it's cold, but this transition line right here is a great place to start. If I was hitting the lake right now, this is probably where I would begin to investigate. And once I have these factors narrowed down, we have to find where the bass are holding on that particular day. So if there's been some sun, especially for two or three days in a row, I'm going to try fishing shallow. And if there is some hard cover available like rocks, then I may fish really shallow to get my lure in front of those bass that are warming themselves on those rocks. Otherwise, I'm going to try and search in 12 feet of water or less with a jerk bait. It allows me to cover that water, yet still hold the lure still for a bit and fish it a little slower. If the weather has been cloudy and overcast, most likely I'm going to try swimming a single tail grub on those main lake points where the moving water is hitting. Now other lures that I have ready will be a micro umbrella rig to try and imitate a ball of bait. I will have some sort of flat sided crankbait and work it both slow and then give the cold water speed cranking a try. Love a good reaction bite. And if I am fortunate enough to narrow down where some bass are holding, I will also work that area over carefully with the finesse jig. There's just something about jigs and cold water that bass respond to. And by far and away, my favorite retrieve for that cold water jig is just a simple drag. Let it hit the bottom and reel it back in, slowly letting it crawl over everything. I can't wait to report back to you in January how the trip went good I hope and thank you to the deep dive app for sponsoring this video you can check them out on the Google Play Store the Apple Store or follow the link down below and hey if you would like to watch a video that talks about wave action and what it does underwater and how it can get things going in the food chain go ahead and check this video out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life I'm your host Steve Rogers